So I've got some cases here for the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2. Let's go ahead and unbox them, put them on the phone, and see what they look like. So it's got like a little belt clip thingy on it. That slides right out. Looks like the phone just snaps in there like this. That looks about right. Pretty cool. It's got AMZER on the back. A-M-Z-E-R. Cut out for, of course, your S Pen, your speaker, camera. So when you lay it down, the camera doesn't get scratched up. That's very nice. It's got a little bit of protection for when you lay it down flat. And it doesn't touch the... The case actually makes contact with the table, not the actual phone. So, and then when you put it in here, that that's pretty freaking awesome. Think about that. That takes just seconds to put in there and seconds to pull out. And it's not place phone with shell into holster with display facing inward to towards holster. So that like, just like I did. You don't want to put it in this way, which it's not even fitting properly. And this is a nice cushiony material, so you don't have to worry about the screen getting scratched up when you slide it in there. And you can take this little red warning label off here. Alright, so that's gone. You just put that in there. That's pretty freaking awesome. So you got the spell clip that's pretty stiff. It's not like it's going to wiggle around on your belt. And then it goes in... I, th I think that's 180 degrees, if, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. So there you go. Let's, all right, let's go ahead and pull that out and set it to the side for now. Taking the case off is, wow, that's in there good. Like, oh, that's the one thing, it's the power button. It's still very easy to press. It's not hard, well, you, the note too is that stupid delay when you first turn it on after a minute. And the volume up and down. So they don't actually cover that, it's still easily accessible. But man, that's in there good. I don't know how they get it to fit so snug. Maybe you can... You probably just gotta use force and get it out. That is in there good. Give me just a second to get it off. Alright, so it did take a little bit of struggle and effort, but I did get it off. You just... Oh, crap. Oh, that wasn't too hard that time. So there you go, it just comes right out. Move on to the next case. It's got a kickstand. For those of you that want to Skype with your phone, you know, on a little kickstand. Or, you know, do a front-facing video. Alright, pop that out. It's a two-part case. It's got like a silicone, I believe. And there you go. Wrap that around there. Put this in there. All right, there you go. It takes a little, takes a second, but it's not that bad. You just get it to wrap around all the edges. You still get your S pin. You still get that speakers right there. Camera still protected when you lay it down. And this one offers a lot more protection, which so when you lay it down flat, the case makes contact with the table, not the actual phone itself. So you're not going to scratch the screen up. Button's still very easy to press. Again, there's that delay with the Note 2, where it takes the screen a second to turn on. But the buttons are still very easy to press. And then here's the little, here's the selling point in this case for many people. On top of the fact that it's a pretty tough case as far as the outer shell, which is, feels like a rubber. I cut my nails, so it's really frustrating when you do things like this that need your nails. All right, so I got that up. Pull this little part out here out, and there you go. You've got your little kickstand, and you can watch a Netflix movie on a, you know, Whatever. You can launch your camera, change it to the front facing camera, do a video or take a picture, a self portrait picture or whatever you need to do. And also it doubles this way and then it lays a little more flat down. Like, so now you can see it a little better this way as far as like straight down on the table. You can have it this way or this way. This one's more towards you and this one's more like up depending on which way you're looking at your phone. So, and then you just push that in there, pull that down, there you go back in there so that's that case for the note 2 go ahead and set this to the side and then we're gonna look at the s3 case real quick all right so I'll pop this out 
It is a two-part case. So we'll put that in there and then take this and put it in there. That's pretty cool. It's got the Galaxy S3 there. That's for the kickstand. So you put that in there. Wrap this around it. Get that all lined up. There you go. I could tuck that in there a little bit better, make it look a little more professional. That's about it right there. And of course, just like the Note 2, you can lay it down flat on the table and it's not it's actually making contact with the case since it's raised above it a little bit. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to worry about your screen getting scratched up and on both phones you can have it like that with your speaker, you know, which is right here on the S3 facing upwards so you can hear the notification when you get it. And then of course it's also protecting the camera and everything. And also you've got this little guy right here and there's the bottom part. You just pull that out, extend it down. You can do it like that <laughs> or like that. And you've got your little kickstand. So that's pretty cool. And of course it, it goes both ways just fine. That's pretty freaking cool. So let's get it out of here. Set that to the side. And this case looks just like the one for the Note 2 like this. And it looks like it is very similar. So pull that out. You can, it's just again telling you to make sure that this phone screen's actually touch, touching this. Oh, that's something to note. This one doesn't have like a little kickstand on it for the Note 2, but this one sure does right here. Little kickstand thingy. So put the phone in there. Super quick and easy to put in. And then, there you go. Got your little belt clip that you can put on your belt if you work construction or whatever. Or if you just want one hanging off your belt clip, maybe you don't have pockets, I don't know. And you just take it out. And again, the buttons aren't being covered up so it's very easy to press them. Here's the little kickstand so you can lay it on the table like that and watch Netflix, like I said, do Skype, do a front facing camera picture, like a portrait of yourself, like a picture of yourself for Facebook or a video chat, whatever you want to use it for. And then just put it back in there and slide the phone in there. Links to all of these cases will be in the description of the video below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking that like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button right next to it. It'll notify you when I post new videos of the Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy Note 3 when that comes out, the HTC One, and several other devices and several other future devices that are coming out. Like the Nvidia Shield, I pre-ordered that and I'll do videos on it the day it comes. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.